New, 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 new. This week, new, new, new. we have a bunch of It's Not Out Yet and Top Secret, so we're going to do one new product, and then we're going to go yes. and do but it's a, good um, one. a bunch of stuff. Uh, so the star of the show this week, besides you, Lady Eight, our community, our customers, everybody who runs Adafruit, our employees, our staff, our friends, our partners, is... This very high-power infrared LED emitter. Um, we were seeing a lot of people trying to build their own TV gone type projects or IR controllers. And one thing that is, uh, I've learned about infrared transmitters is you really want to like drive them really strong to get good range. And you want to hit uh, the IR receiver, even if it's not pointed exactly directly at it, 10 meters away, 15 meters away. To do that, you have to have a bunch of IR LEDs and you really want to drive them very strongly with a transistor. And so, you know, we have circuits showing how to do that, but it's always like people have to get the FET and the pull down and the resistor. So I thought, let's make a little stem aboard. You connect your JST PH cable on one end, I'll show that. Um, give it power, ground, and a signal, and then it'll just blast that to uh, two infrared LEDs. I picked nice and bright ones. We chatted about that on the Great Search a couple weeks ago. I think these are 90. Uh, lumens or I don't remember that. they're as bright as the five millimeter LEDs that we um, sell you can drive them at uh, 100 milliamp standard one amp um, peak on this board if you give it three volts you're gonna get 100 milliamps per LED if you drive it at five volts you get 200 and I think that's really good because that way if people leave the LED on you won't damage it and overheat it but it's really simple to use um, so I thought I just showed on the overhead real fast and what's nice is that this overhead uh, it doesn't have, uh, uh, I mean, it has some uh, IR cut filter, but not a huge one. So um, the board comes like this. There is a, there is a uh, breakout area if you want to solder to it, but I really just recommend using one of our uh, Stemma two millimeter pitch JST cables. You get a on LED, which um, tells you that the board is powered. And then this signal LED will tell you when there's signal coming in on the signal line, the red and black are power. Again, three to five volts works great. Um, when I uh, touch this to uh, oh, yeah. three volt, you Amen. see the signal line, which is human visible. So I can see that red LED. These are not human visible, but they do come through on the uh, camera because uh, that's how cameras work. And um, they're really nice and bright. You get two, one edge and one um, upright. And then if you happen to want, you know, another LED or you want an external LED, we give you one more um, spot. You can just wire up a uh, standard infrared five millimeter LED. In this case, it's a, it's a white LED. Um, but then what you get, you get one more uh, blaster. And then um, you can always disable the on LED or the signal LED if you want it to be stealth mode. Um, but just a little easy, inexpensive board um, with mounting holes just to get... Uh, people's IR blaster projects going very quickly and very easily. And that is new products this week. New, 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 new.